welcome to the part five. There they are, Cruella cried. The van pulled away in the nick of time. After them, Cruella shouted. Cruella drove too fast for the slippery road. Watch out, cried Horace. But it was too late. Cruella's car tumbled down the hill. Everyone landed in the deep soft snow, but the car was smashed to pieces. Back in London, Anita and Nanny were decorating the Christmas tree. Roger was too upset to help. I miss Pongo and Pretty so much, said Anita. I know, answered Nanny. Sometimes at night, I think I hear them bark, but it always turns out to be a dream. Wait, cried Anita. Did you hear that noise, that bark, sorry? Nanny flung open the door. A large black dog jumped on Roger and covered him with kisses and suit. It's Pongo and Pertita with their little ones, cried Nanny. She began to dust off the puppies. Then Anita and Roger noticed the room was filled with dogs. All in the all in all they were in hundred and one Dalmatians. <sighs> Whatever shall we do with them? Anita asked. We'll buy a big place in the country, said Roger. A Dalmatian plantation. It was a very merry Christmas after all. Okay, end of the story, guys. So, if you want more stories like these, please like and subscribe. Allah Hafiz, and we'll see you in the next video.